It's Coach Greg, and today I'm going to be critiquing a video done by Shelly Darlington. The video is basically, it's about calories in, calories out, and how it's wrong. The truth. So apparently this famous YouTube chick has, she's amazing. She's figured out how to break the laws of thermodynamics. Think of the, think of the breaking news that's out here. She's for sure gonna win awards for this. That's why there is absolutely zero point in you counting your calories to the gram. A client, or sorry, it wasn't a client, a, a, a YouTube subscriber sent me this, and I haven't watched it yet, but she must have figured it out. So I can't wait to watch this video and comment on it. Okay, so she's strong curves. She's all, Ooh, with the romantic music. Oh, okay. I'll watch this. So, I'm three minutes in the video and she's already insane. Okay, so this is what she says. Forget the countless studies that say it's calories that in and calories out that matter. Forget it. Forget all those studies. She says, it's foolproof, but it's not. She specifically says they are outdated rules. So, you know, it's 2019 now. Those laws of thermodynamics do not apply. Our ancestors didn't count calories. Great grandma Josephine never counted calories and she never had a heart attack. She's saying way back in the day, there was no obesity. There was no type two diabetes. There's no problems and they never counted calories. So obviously, if they never did, we shouldn't and we won't have problems either. People who say that are so stupid. We sit on a freaking computer all day long. We watch TV. We sit on our asses and do nothing. Our ancestors worked from sunrise to sundown being physically active. They burnt off a shitload of calories so they could eat steaks full of fat, butter, and everything, and they weren't obese because they burn off 5,000 friggin' calories a day. If you go for a 10-hour walk every day, you don't have to count calories either. You'll burn off everything you eat and you'll be skinny. Unless you have a job where all you do is work all day long, or unless you're the Tour de France rider or you're clowning Mount Everest, you can't just eat the way our ancestors ate and expect to look like our ancestors. That just makes no sense. She says, we don't need to count calories. All we need to do is eat whole, nutrient-dent foods and we won't have issues. So I can eat as much steak and salmon and food as I want as long as it's whole food? That is redonkulous. I burn off 2,500 calories a day. If I eat 6,000 calories worth of steaks and things, I won't gain weight because it's whole food. But if I eat processed food and I eat 2,000, I'm going to get fat because it's processed. And this freaking pisses me off. I hate this saying. Unhealthy relationship with food. Everyone says it. Everyone states it. People talk about it. Relationships are with people. I do not date an apple. I don't court a banana. I don't. Relationships are with other people. Hi, how you doing? Good, nice to meet you. We'll go for a walk. Food is, you eat it and swallow it. You don't have a relationship. Oh, Miss Ice Cream, I'm going to coddle you. You don't have relationships with food. Stop saying that, it's stupid. Say, you eat food, you don't eat food, you eat too much food, you're addicted to food, that's all fine. You don't have a freaking relationship with food. I don't know what the definition of relationship is, but I'm assuming it's something and it doesn't say, oh, how you hang out with food and whatever. So she doesn't want to get trolled, so she does say, Anyone that says that it's calories don't matter at all is an idiot. Well, I, I mean, what's her argument? She's saying calories in and calories out don't count. So it's calories that we're counting. So she just doesn't want anyone to say she's wrong, but she is wrong because it is calories in, calories out. That's the title in the frigging post. 
Now look, before I get trolled in my comments, I am not saying that calories don't count, okay? Anyone who says that is an idiot. Calories in, calories out is wrong, the truth. It is calories in, calories out. So she's saying we're an idiot if you think it's, it, the calories don't matter, but she's saying that they don't matter in the title. She tries to get real specific on us. So these are the people that the laws of thermodynamics do not apply to. Okay, primarily women, anyone who's crash dieted, people with less muscle mass and poor metabolisms, people who do too much cardio and have a high body fat percentages and are not getting results. This is the, for you. Calories in and calories out don't work. So basically this is the bullshit she's trying to say. You need an excuse to feel good about yourself. You don't want Greg to say you're a pussy and you're eating too much and you're not doing enough cardio because woe is you. You tried to lose weight and weren't successful. Man, it must be God that created you different and the laws of thermodynamics don't apply to you. No, it's not the fact that you ate too many cheeseburgers. It's not the fact you cheated on your diet. It's not the fact that you did cardio, but then you stopped and then something happened and then you dieted for three months and then you got fatter for three months. No, it's not that. It can't be that. It must be that God has a different rule for you. You don't burn calories the same way. You don't, when you go for a 10 mile run, you do so without burning calories. It's shocking. It's amazing. You have a, an ability to survive forever. Thousands of years ago, you would have lived forever because you didn't need to eat. You would always be fat and never ever have starvation issues. The fact is, it doesn't matter if you're 500 pounds or 100 pounds, whatever. You're eating more than you burn. That's why you're overweight. I'm not saying it's easy for you. I'm not saying that it doesn't suck that you have too many fat cells. I'm saying that if you eat less calories than you burn, you will get leaner for sure without question. You can't break the law of thermodynamics even though Shelly Darlington says you can. She then goes on to make fun of bodybuilders and fitness people and workout people. Uh, hello bodybuilders and fitness competitors. There's a reason why they do that. Because it's the only way to be as consistent as you possibly can. That's why they eat dry chicken breast, brown rice and broccoli out of a Tupperware box daily. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a normal person. I like variety. I don't want to eat the same thing out of a Tupperware box every single day. The only way, well, she's a girl. The only way that you can track your calories is if you eat the same thing every day. And I have, I don't want to eat the same thing, dry chicken and broccoli and and brown rice, all the same thing every day. Has she not seen my diets? I eat popcorn and French toast, French toast pancakes, score protein bars. Has anyone even seen me eat rice? No, I don't eat rice. Sometimes I might. I don't eat the same thing every day. I eat a bunch of different stuff. I just eat two wraps in a salad, diet, diet pop, popcorn at the beach, a protein bar, French toast pancakes for breakfast, Greek yogurt, uh, two pounds of blueberries. Is this not variety? I eat different cool stuff all the time. So you don't need to eat the same thing day out. She's calling out all bodybuilders to do this. Old school stupid bodybuilders that don't know that it's 2019, you don't have to eat the same shit every day maybe, but not people that follow me or people that I coach. We have fun diets that work and we know that you can't break the law of thermodynamics. Okay, she then goes into BMR, basal metabolic rate. If you only listen to one part of this, just listen to this part. If you're not losing weight, eat less calories, less or burn off more of them doesn't matter how many calories you ate or it doesn't matter how many calories you burn off say you said to me i'm eating 600 calories a day and i do four hours cardio and if you're not losing weight eat 500 not 600 and do seven hours of cardio a day not four you will eventually lose weight if you burn off more calories than you eat that's the science that's the proof that's what you need to know so this is what she says well, there's a study that says that if you eat a low carb diet, you burn off more calories doing nothing than if you eat a high fat diet. 
Okay, so guess what, people? There's such a thing as the thermic effect of food. There's such a thing as non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So, for example, if I eat a bunch of fiber and vegetables, I burn off calories eating that. If I drink 10 liters of water, freezing cold water, I'll burn 350 calories if it's two degrees because you have to raise the water temperature. I did a video on this. Watch the video on my water burn calories and whatever. So if you eat 2,000 calories a day and you burn off 500 running and you burn off 1,000 from your just like life, you can also burn calories from fidgeting and from moving around, from dancing, from bopping your head, certain things. It all adds up to calories burn. Doesn't matter if you went for a run and burn calories or if you just sat here and headbang for 19 hours straight. You're burning calories. It doesn't matter if the calories were burnt from drinking water. You're burning calories. It's still calories in and calories out. She can't argue with it. She's not actually discovering new science. She just doesn't understand current science or current math. I feel like we need a math degree just to work out what we should be eating in a day. Anyway, she says, oh, these dietitians and doctors, they're all brainwashing you because when you show up to their door and ask them, you know, I'm not losing weight, they say, well, exercise more or eat less and you will lose weight. And she's saying that's stupid. You're being brainwashed. Well, I guess I'm brainwashing people too. And then she went on to say, well, I ate 1900 calories and I won state, provincial, whatever, world championship bikini contest. And that's a lot of calories. Guess what? She has a fast metabolism. She's lucky. She, maybe she burned off a lot. Maybe she did a lot of cardio. Yeah, not everyone gets lean on 1900, but she's suggesting, she's pushing to make it look like if you eat a lot of fat and you get into this ketones and stuff and eat low carb that you're all set. Truth is, Fat turns to fat easier than carbs and protein. Fat is most closely resembling fat, body fat. Oh yeah, keto diet, oh yeah, I'm gonna get shredded. I can eat what I want because I'll breathe out the calories. I'll poop out the calories. It makes more sense to eat fiber because fiber in your vegetables and fruit actually has a shit ton of fiber. I was looking up blueberries because I ate two pounds at the beach today and there was 20 grams of fiber and 510 calories. That's a lot of blueberries and it's a lot of fructose. And guess what? I'm not going to get fat just because I had fructose. T Thomas DeLauer or whatever, he's the one, he was saying, if you have fructose from fruits that, oh boy, watch out, you're going to get fat. I don't ever look at people that are 300 pounds and think, man, that person eats way too much fruit. I don't think it. I bet you don't either. And they don't. They just don't. Because trust me, 500 calories from two pounds of blueberries, four pounds of blueberries, about a thousand. People aren't getting fat eating four pounds of blueberries. Try eating that many blueberries. You're going to get pretty full. If they get fat eating cheeseburgers or cheesecake, like Shelly Darlington is suggesting, easy to eat a thousand calories of cheesecake. I do that in five minutes. In five minutes, I'm not eating a thousand calories of blueberries. So just don't listen to these people when they say stupid stuff. Just... You know, some of their stuff, of course, is good and accurate, but you gotta be able to pick apart the crap from and the bullshit from the truth. For lunch, she ate salmon, eggs, and butter. Clearly, this woman's a keto dieter. And then they brag about how many calories they can eat because then you're jealous because you eat 1,900 calories and you're a woman and you're getting fat and she's eating 1,900 and she's Miss Model, bikini champion. And you're like, oh, well, I should do keto. It's genetics, people. I've tried keto. I've tried every freaking diet. I've been doing this for 25 years. I have a zero energy on keto. I feel like shit. I have no strength, nothing good about keto. If keto was the best diet ever, every single freaking baseball player, hockey player, football player, Olympic athlete, cycling tour de France, marathon runner, basketball player, LeBron James, you name it, Tiger Woods, golf, they would all be on keto. If keto is a better diet, everyone would be on it. They would, they're making millions of dollars on how fit they are. I mean, Tom Brady would be for sure only on keto because he'd be like, 
man, I'm 42 years old. I can play football. I got to go on keto because way more energy. I can go play football all day and I can eat whatever I want. I can shove in this peanut butter and fats and no, I mean, that's the proof right there. Or amateur athletes trying to make it to the Olympics. You think they go out and eat a steak before a race? Before a marathon? No, they want more energy. They're eating carbs, people. If it worked, the best athletes in the world would all be following it because if they have more energy, trust me, they're trying to take steroids. They're trying to cheat the system. They're trying to take every drug in the world. They wouldn't care if it took 20 years off their life. They would take the pill to get 1% faster. You don't think that they'd follow a keto diet if it was 1% better? You don't think I would follow keto if it made me 1.1% better? If keto was better, I would be on keto. I would for sure be on it. I want to be the best at what I can do. I've always wanted to be the best. I'm not the best at pretty much everything, but I don't know. Maybe I'm the best at something. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. They invent the right sport. I might be the best at it. But the bottom line is... I want the best. I'm not on keto. If it was the best, I'd be on. In the ending part of her video, she basically says, you shouldn't count calories because if you just eat high fat, low carb, you can eat whatever you want without having to track calories. That's just a lie. It's not true. Now, a lot of the ending of the video I agreed with in terms of the emotional part of it and the mental and to look at yourself and you shouldn't obsess and all that stuff. And I agree. I agree with that. However, she, she basically says, you know, what's important is everybody's perfect the way you are type thing and you're perfect and you're healthy no matter what. And I'm like, no, you're not. If you're morbidly obese and you're eating like shit, you're not healthy. Don't lie to people and just say, no, you're perfect just the way you are, even though you're 400 pounds overweight. No, you're not. You're not healthy. You're going to die. Just like when somebody shows me their cholesterol and it's frigged up from steroids, I'm not going to say, oh, but... You're perfect just the way you are. Even though you're on stereo, you're still... No, I'm going to be like, get off the stupid drugs. Stop taking PDs. You're going to kill yourself. I call him out on it. Just like she should be. But she's just praying to the people that are like not losing weight, not successful. And instead of literally motivating them to do stuff, you just like accept your body for who you are. Eat all the cheesecake you want because it's high in fat. No, it's not. It's not going to work. You have to track calories. It sucks. Yeah, we know. We get it. We, it sucks. Sucks having to lose weight, but you need a good diet. If you want to get a diet, look at my website, gregdoucette.com. Follow me on Instagram, gregdoucette, IFBB Pro. If you want to learn some free tips, I've got two videos you should check out. They're blooped up above me. They will teach you basically steps on how to do this, foods to just eat and avoid, things like that. Okay, till next time.